this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to graph a system of linear inequalities, and we're going to show where all of the possible solutions lie on the coordinate plane. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our first inequality here, and we are going to convert this to a form that we can graph. Specifically, we are going to convert this to the y equals mx plus b form, or the slope-intercept formula. So let's take our first inequality here and convert it to slope-intercept form by isolating for our y variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this positive x and move it over on the right-hand side of our inequality. So the opposite of positive x, of course, is negative x. So we have to write negative x over on the right-hand side. These x's cancel out. Isolating our y variable, we bring down our inequality symbol. And with slope-intercept form, we have to put our x term first. So we write negative x. And because this 4 is a positive 4, we write plus 4 at the end, which is our y-intercept. So now we have a format here that we can easily graph on the coordinate plane. So the first thing we do is locate positive 4 on the y-axis. So we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and we make a point. And our slope is negative 1, which we write as negative 1 over 1. So the rise is negative 1 over 1. So from this point, we go down 1 over 1, and we make a point, and down 1 over 1 and make a point, and we can continuously do this. All right, we have enough points here to create our straight line, so we just make a line going through these points right here. Now, because our inequality symbols both have an equal to as part of that symbol, we have to draw a solid line here. If we had an inequality symbol that was just a less than symbol or just a greater than symbol, what we would do then is we would draw a dotted line going through those points. And what that would indicate is that any points that lie within a dotted line would actually not be included as a possible solution of that inequality. But because there's an equal to symbol as part of our inequality, that means that any point that lies with on that line is a possible solution. All right, now notice that with our first inequality, it is a less than or equal to symbol. That means that any point on our graph that's less than is going to be a solution. Now here's how we can visualize this. So we have this line right here, and anything above that line or up from that line is going to be greater, and anything below this line is going to be less than. So that just means that any point that lies below this line is going to be a possible solution for that inequality. All right, let's go ahead and graph our second inequality. x minus 1 is less than or equal to positive 2. So let me just draw a line here separating these two inequalities. And we're going to write x minus 1 is less than or equal to 2. Now notice in this inequality, we do not have a y variable. When this occurs, just solve for x. Whenever you have only an x in your equation or your inequality, this just means you're going to have a vertical line. So let's isolate this x variable by taking this minus 1 and adding 1 so they cancel out. And then we can move it to the other side. And that leaves us with x is less than or equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. So this simply means we're going to have a vertical line going through positive 3 on the x-axis. So we locate positive 3 on the x-axis and just draw a vertical line going through positive 3 on the x-axis. And you should notice that I drew a solid line and not a dotted line because there's an equal to symbol as part of our inequality. All right, now notice that it says that x is less than or equal to 3. So when you have a vertical line, less than is going to be to the left. Because if we have positive 3 right here, everything smaller than positive 3 would be in this direction, such as 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and so forth. So that means all along this line right here, we would have to shade everything going to the left of that line. So any point located to the left of this line 
or directly on this line would be a possible solution for that inequality. All right, now at this point, here's what we should notice. If we take a look at the coordinate plane, there's only one area where we shaded it blue and where we shaded it yellow. Notice that everything right here in this section was shaded blue or yellow, which means any point located within this area is a possible solution to the system of inequalities. Now, anything that's located in this yellow area right here would be a possible solution to only this first inequality right here. And anything located in this portion of the coordinate plane right here would be a possible solution to this inequality right here. So for this inequality right here, any point that lies on this part of our line and this point right here, and any point that lies on this part of the line is a possible solution to our system of inequalities, and anything here shaded in this purplish color would also be a possible solution to our system of inequalities. By the way, if we were to actually solve this system of inequalities, we would get an ordered pair, and that ordered pair would be located right here where these two lines intersect, which is at positive 3, positive 1 right here in quadrant number 1. All right, I just want to say thanks for checking out this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become informed as I upload new math tutorials.